Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with Jen Walensic, D. Rodinella from the uh, Stark County District Library. And uh, you just said during the break that sometimes you reread books. Is is that, do you enjoy that? You must or you wouldn't. But do you recommend people like pick up a book and read it again? Oh, yeah, definitely. There have been plenty of, there are set books that I will read every year. And there are times when I'll accidentally pick up a book that I've already read. Um, for the most part, there are definite rereads in my my pile. So do you ever go to the movies and say, oh, the book was much better? That's kind of a common thing, isn't it? I have a T-shirt that says that, and I'm not allowed to talk during t- movies and TV shows. My husband's always like, you're just going to say the book was better. And I do, yes. Well, aren't we better in our imaginations of coming up with what that person should look like? Oh, very much. And exactly how something should be. And you can't recreate that in a, in a film as much as they have all the technology now. It's still hard to do. Well, everyone sees things differently, which is what's so great about the story. Anytime you have a book or a character you love, you have your own ideal of this person. Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember when the Left Behind movies came out and the authors were ready to sue because that was not what their book looked like at all. No. As they, yeah, I, well, we won't even go there. That was just really <laughs> too bad. They ought to try again. I think, I think they know how to do things better. I they think could, they just redid it not that long ago. Uh, well, uh, I saw it on Netflix. Really? Was yeah. it better? Was it good? No, not there yet. Not try quite. again. Keep going back to the well until you get it right, guys, because yeah. those are amazing books. I'm okay with Kirk Cameron, though. Yeah, oh, oh, every time, yes. <laughs> I agree. Okay, we are digressing. You've got something called Stay Connected. What is that? Um, well, our goal this winter is to help everyone stay connected with services through the library. So we have a lot of offerings that will help you out if you just don't feel like going out in the snow or if you can't get out um, on top of all of our digital offerings, which the smart kits will help you access. Um, we also have homebound services. So I love that. Let's <laughs> talk about that. If you are permanently or temporarily laid up due to illness, injury, or impaired driving ability, give us a call. And wow, we'll bring books to your door. Really? Even if you're in the hospital for a, a stay and you're bored, we'll help you out. Where do you get these? Where do you get a book? Where do books come from for a library? Where do you get the books? Do people donate books to a library? I'm thinking of an estate or something like that. Um, where do they come from? We do take some of the donated offerings that our public have to give, but our books are actually brought into the library by public demand. While we do our best to um, read what our patrons' minds are thinking, it's not always that easy. So we have a system of request a book or request an item that our collection group will then go in and do their best to bring that um, material in to us. I've always wondered if you have like a buyer that reads everything and says, yeah, this would be good, this would be good. Does it work like that? We do have some that are on a list of here you must haves Mm -hmm. that our publishers do recommend. But most often it is through a group of people who are doing some individual selection or we are relying on our public. And you somehow keep up so that whatever the New York Times bestseller happens to be, you're in the know. We're there. We order our books in advance. And if you check our catalog, you can actually put a hold on some of those books before they're in the actual shelves Mm. or on the collection. So you can get your hold in easily and quickly. That's so awesome. And, And going back to the homebound person, how amazing then that you would bring that, all of that, open up a whole world to them, talk about staying connected, to be able to have, first of all, the the personal touch of having someone come to your home, and um, then they don't feel completely just trying to connect on online. Does that make sense? Yes, very much so. Having someone there, and probably there for a little bit of a visit as well as they <laughs> deliver. If they get Mark. <laughs> oh, I definitely. Yeah, it's almost like Meals on Wheels, except with books. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? it is. Most definitely. What okay. a good idea. Do volunteers do that? Who uh, does that? It's actually done by our mobile services department. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, if you just visit the website, starklibrary.org, 
um, you can fill out the form for homebound services there. Um, in addition to Dee's comment about the book purchasing, mm -hmm. though, if you're out and about and have your mobile app with you, you can scan the barcode of any book in the bookstore. Wow. And it will automatically reserve the book if it's in our system. And if not, you can request to purchase it. So you could reserve your books from home if you're using the homebound services through the mobile app and have them delivered to your house. That is crazy. That's amazing. Or if someone's visiting and they have a book you want, just And you say, this. well, that looks good. And you just scan the barcode. Now, yep. do you need that um, that QR code reader or something? No, or it's all in our app. And I it's can all in the app. See that later. Oh, my goodness. All right, this is too cool. You've got holiday events coming up with all the holidays coming up. Um, we need Christmas presents. What have you got? Oh, well, we've got lots of events coming up to get everyone in the holiday spirit this year. There are plenty to see, and you can see them all on the website. But mm -hmm. I'd say the standout ones for this year, of course, we're doing our annual gingerbread house extravaganza. Awesome. <laughs> um, you can enter now through December 10th. Voting is December 11th through the 17th. And you can visit our webpage for a full list of contact test rules. We have this one family who goes above and beyond every year. Last year, what did they, did they do the Shire or a whole so. thing from The Hobbit? No. One year they did Hogwarts. I mean, these are amazing. And they'll be on display there as yes, well? in the children's department at Main Library. If you want to enter, is it too late? No, no, you can drop them off anytime. Okay, and when is that? Um, December, or November 27th through December 10th, mm -hmm. and then we'll be voting at the 11th and the 17th, but the People's Choice Award can be voted on during Light Up Downtown on oh, the 7th. Oh, perfect. So now through the 10th. Yes. Uh, perfect. Okay. Um, other events that we might be able to pop in on? Um, we have Holiday Music at Your Library, which is sponsored by the Lake Friends of the Library on December 6th at Lake Community Branch. We have Light Up Downtown oh, always at fun. Maine on yes. the 7th. Awesome. Um, big band holiday concert at Perry Sippo on the 7th. And our All Aboard the Polar Express at Lake Community Branch. Wait a minute. So you're doing the Polar Express? Well, it's a uh, holiday fun with train activities, crafts, and a scavenger hunt. And then on Friday... You can make a cookie mix gift, hear the story, and then watch the movie. Oh, fun. Okay, wonderful. So if you missed out on tickets to the other to the train rides going on, go to the library. You can still have, have some cocoa and wonderful watch experience. The show. Awesome. Well, like I said, I still need um, to buy some Christmas presents, and a lot of them have to do with technology, but it would be fun to try before you buy. Can you help me out there? We are actually having several what we call holiday samplers and our tech petting zoos. They are across the system. We have one at Dehoff. We have one that's coming up here at the main library on December 11th. And we also have what is called our Tech It Out kits. That is for our youth that can come in and try different gadgets that are across the system. For our holiday samplers, what's happening is I will bring out all of the technology and we're talking a good 60 to 70 different pieces of equipment that our patrons will be allowed to try before they buy and we will have our expert trainers there that will be able to answer questions as well. When does this take place? The one at Main Library is on December 11th and we have another one coming up at our Dehoff branch, but I believe that one will be passed because it's just coming up mm -hmm. for the December the 1st. Okay. And then our Tech Petting Zoo is going to be in um, a Jackson branch. Okay. Well, we can go to the website or call the Jackson branch to find out when yes. that is. But first of all, what in the world is a Tech Petting Zoo? That tech petting zoo is where we bring out the smaller devices and not necessarily all of the grand devices. And you can sit at a table and simply work with them mm -hmm. and get some ideas and some instructions on how to use them. These are would be kits that would be youth-oriented more than the adult. This sounds like something that even if you are pretty savvy in the technology world that, wow, what a great way to keep up with what's new. Because you guys really are. You are on the cutting edge of all of it. 
So, do our best. my goodness. So, okay, so stop by the library if you want to learn how to use the te- new technology. Unbelievable. What about for just for fun, video games? What about that? We have just added video games to our collection this fall. Um, we have them at four locations Maine, Plain, Dehoff, and Jackson. They're available in the media box at each of those locations. We have classic favorites and hit new titles for PlayStation 3, 4, Xbox 360, and Xbox One. <laughs> so no Atari. <laughs> well, we, Some of us got left behind with Atari. We actually have some Do of the classic really? games that you can Classics? check out for um, uh, Pac-Man and... Space Invaders. I'm not sure if Space Invaders <laughs> is in the classic pack, but it may That'd be. That'd be going way, way back. <laughs> Pong. Yeah, I remember that. So you've got PlayStation and all the newest ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, and some of them you probably have to show your ID, right? Because some well, of them for older. you can older. check them out at the media box. So mm-hmm. I'm not sure how you would show the media box ID. Uh, you would set up your card. If you have your card set for a child, you probably can only check out anything under smart ratings. Smart. Um, but for the for parents to be always on the lookout for what your kids are doing anyway. Oh, yes. Yeah. But that so. just sounds so awesome. All right. So with all of the things going on, and we were started this by saying libraries are changing. Library science is still a good major? Most definitely. I mean, in library of science in itself is um, evolving just as the libraries are. You have an IACM program, which is an end user for technology type of a degree. And also, you're not just doing book research. You're going to be learning about how you're going to do that technology type of research and how to help your patron in using technology. Wow. Yeah. I- I'm just really... Uh impressed. This is just kind of amazing. Let's peek ahead because we've got Christmas and New Year's, but then Valentine's Day is kind of around the corner and you're always bringing exciting speakers into town. What's next? Oh, yes. Um, Well, this Valentine's Day, we are welcoming Debbie McComer to the library for the Speaking of Books author series. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, where can we go for more information about all of this? You can visit starklibrary.org slash speaking of books for information on all of our upcoming speaker series. And um, like all of our events, this is free and open to the public. We just ask that you reserve your seats. And it will be held at the Canton Palace Theater on Valentine's Day. We'll offer uh, a full concession stand with wine and featured mixed drinks as well. Wonderful. Jen Walensic, D. Rondinella, thank you so much for all you do in our community. Thank you. Thank you.